classrooms have been deserted with no form of academic activity going on when the new team visited Wesley College of Education Monday morning. Few students were seen engaging in individual studies to keep their minds busy. Others were just loitering about as their tutors remain home in compliance with the strike directive. Students appear unhappy with the industrial action. I'm in the third year and we just finished writing our message. We have to study towards writing our end of semester. But because they aren't coming to class now and how the system is going with the shift six weeks, three weeks and the break and other things, we, we haven't been able to learn a lot. So as it stands now, we don't actually know what it entails for us to write the message, which wouldn't help us at all. We will try our possible and learn on our own so that it will not affect us much. Not only members of CTAG have laid down their tools, but also non-teaching staff, which include the kitchen staff among others. Though food was served to the students today in spite of the strike, the fear is they may not be fed should the kitchen staff observe the strike from Tuesday. I have no option but to go home to feed myself because if I stay on campus, I wouldn't be able to feed myself. Yeah, so I have to pack my things and go home. CTAG and CENSAG are on indefinite strike to demand for better conditions of service and compensation for all year round work, among other concerns. Prince Obinhima is the national president of CTAG. Indeed, we sympathize with the students. We are not strike, I mean, happy people, but we have been pushed to the wall such that we have no other option than to resort to that. For us to exist with our conditions of service in the face of the economic, I mean, situation we find ourselves in, whereas all other people out there and in the tertiary space, continue to be on their conditions of service. I think it's discrimination and we need to be citizens. We don't have to be watchers of the situation. We need to correct the ills and this action we're taking to ensure that we're not discriminated against. The two striking groups say they will only resume their services if government addresses their concerns. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3 News, Kumasi.